What a beautiful day. It was, but now I'm concerned that this new forensic technique called familial searching might worsen racial bias in the criminal justice system. Oh yeah, I saw an article in the paper where a suspected serial killer was found using familial searching. Familial searching is actively being used in California, Colorado, and Virginia. When a DNA sample is found at a crime scene and there are no leads, the state DNA database is searched for an exact genetic match. What if there's no perfect match? In some cases, the database is searched for partial matches because a partially matching individual may be a close genetic relative of the unidentified suspect. So sometimes, when no one in the state DNA database matches a crime scene sample, the whole database is searched for partial matches because a partial match may mean there's a genetic relationship between the known person in the database and the unknown person who left the sample. That's how it works. That seems like a good tool to help find suspects in cases without other leads. That could be, but because partial matches are less specific than exact matches, there is more opportunity for error. Some unrelated individuals have partially matching genetic profiles by chance alone. Are you saying that everyone with a relative in the state DNA database could be investigated just because of a random partial genetic match? Yes, that's a possibility. Then some groups of people who are overrepresented in the database, like African Americans and Latinos, are even more likely to be investigated by the police. That's a significant concern about familial searching. In a recent technical study, researchers found that people with genetic ancestry from particular groups may be even more likely to have partially matching genetic profiles by chance. Why would that be? I thought that there weren't genetic differences between socially defined racial groups. You're right that race is a social construct. Most of the genome is indistinguishable between so-called races. It's also true that a small proportion of genetic variation differs in frequency between groups of people with different ancestry. Okay, so there are slight genetic differences between some groups of people based on ancestry. You could say that. The particular genetic markers used for forensic identification were checked for how well they distinguish people with some, but not all, ancestries. So then, forensic identification works better in some populations than others? Right again. In exact genetic identification, these slight differences don't amount to much. But in familial searching, these differences may mean more partial matches between unrelated people with particular ancestry, especially people with Native American or Asian ancestry. You're saying that because forensic genetic markers don't work as well for people with Native American or Asian ancestry, they're more likely to be falsely associated with the crime? I don't like the sound of that at all. Me neither.